and Amber, if there's anybody that wants to speak, I know that Thomas wanted to present. I don't know if you can actually pass presentation to anybody else if they haven't signed in as a presenter. I believe you can as a moderator, right, as an organizer? Yeah, I added him to the panelists. Okay. He's right. muted right now. Okay. I'll we'll ask him to come on, come on later. <clears throat> so here's the, um, the Fairfield campus. Uh, this is actually data coming from Fusion. For those of you that have seen previous presentations about Fusion, we have facility data for the state of California on the different community colleges. This is one campus. This particular campus there has been ongoing work uh, happening at the campus relating to master planning and uh, facility assessments. So there's more detailed information inside these buildings as far as the condition of buildings, the spaces, and even photographs attached to spaces. And we are creating a pro two projects act actually up here in the northeast corner of the campus. So we're just landing these buildings here temporarily to um, show a proposed location for these two buildings. There's an uh, industrial technology building and a medical dental clinic. Um, the medical dental clinic is the building that is being used on the Building Smart Alliance Kobe Challenge. It's uh, There's a, actually a full Revit model, uh, Revit, architect arch um, Revit architectural model, Revit MEP model, uh, full Kobe files, uh, full equipment lists um, in that building. And um, we also have Navisworks models uh, with data linked to them, which will be shown later on by Thomas. So what we did is we placed them on this location, but it's not limited to here and, and this is not the final shape of the building. You can actually take this building and start from scratch if you like. In this state right here, this particular scheme, I'm showing the uh, one proposed layout. Uh, the dental clinic is uh, the one that matches the Revit model. So that's one, one piece. Uh, the other thing that we did is we then took these same models and decomposed them into program requirements. We want, kind of wanted to go backwards into using this program of the uh, uh, clinic and use it for simulating how you would start if an owner's requirements came in for a new clinic. So that's one part of the process. From uh, the California Community Colleges they have something called initial planning proposals and final planning pro proposals which are blocking and stacking programming uh, using the programming requirements of a project. Uh, and then uh, we want to take those programming requirements and have teams use that as a starting point for design and construction. So we have another scheme here in the seed files called, it's number 01, it's called Clinic Program Requirements. If you open that up, you'll actually see the exact same data as is in the final model, but we decompose it into a program requirements model. So you could start from that as here's a, uh, the requirements for a new clinic. Uh, the owner is thinking of putting the clinic on this part of the site, if you open up this clinic block, it has um, all the spaces and attributes related to it, and it also has all the Kobe data associated with it, including equipment in each of the rooms. Um, so you could take this and start with that as a, a planning exercise, which a lot of teams in previous BIM storms, like Balfour Beatty, has done this quite a bit. Um, they are all they are going to be participating in this uh, BIM storm as well. Um, that has the, uh, the um, uh, spaces and for some reason the relationship lines aren't turning on in this one, I'm not sure why. Um, but we have uh, adjacencies actually set up, I'll check this after we get offline, and they're grouped by space type and they also have space attributes um, such as uh, uh, departments we haven't added yet but we have, uh, let's see, uh, I believe we have some of these wall types. No, not in this scheme. We'll be updating this a little bit later with uh, other. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's just refreshed. Okay, so there's the um, uh, the adjacency relationship lines, and um, we'll be adding department. For we haven't actually updated the department color coding, but essentially these are different departments: dental clinic, pharmacy, etc. Two-story building um, with the same elements that are in the final model which was the one that we were looking at earlier. Let's open that one up again to show you the end state. So what this means is that each team can really jump in at any point in the process. We do encourage teams to collaborate as usual in the previous BIM storms, but you could also just pick up a specific part of what you're interested in 
in doing. So for example, if you're interested in looking at it from a master planning perspective, you might just even stay at site level and start doing studies of where can we place these buildings on on this campus. Uh, do we have enough parking, etc.? Can we take over this field? Are we going to renovate one of the older buildings that has uh, a poor condition? We actually have the facility condition data coming in from Fusion. So we know which buildings actually have uh, conditions that are red means that they're not they're not very good condition. They either need to be renovated or they need to be um, replaced. Uh, so for example we might even recommend well maybe we want to take down this this uh, this building here this red one which is a warehouse and put in a medical clinic and do a whole planning study around here. So this would be an acceptable um, exercise for any team to, to go through to actually go through some master planning studies like this um, either starting with the actual shape of these buildings or starting from the uh, blocking model that we had for the clinic. That's one exercise.